Have you ever caught yourself constantly running after someone's attention, only to end up feeling unnoticed and unappreciated? It's a common trap, but today, we're going to break free from it. Welcome to a powerful lesson in attraction, where chasing is not on the agenda, but attracting is. In this video, we delve into the principles of Stoicism, to show you why relentlessly pursuing women might actually be pushing them away, and how maintaining your dignity and self-respect is the real game-changer. By cultivating your inner value and embracing a Stoic mindset, you can become a high-value man who naturally draws attention, rather than desperately seeking it. We'll guide you through the nine transformative steps to stand out from the crowd, not by doing more, but by being more. So, are you ready to turn the tables and learn how to attract rather than chase? Make sure you like this video, hit subscribe, and turn on notifications to join us on this journey of self-discovery and magnetic attraction. Now, let's begin. Number one, transform yourself, not the world. Rather than attempting to alter the world around you, focus on changing yourself. Many men gripe about the world's unfairness, yet they overlook that others are treated differently because they act differently. The world will see you as you present yourself. People will assume you're wealthy if you start flaunting expensive luxury goods, which will attract gold diggers and those seeking your money. By transforming yourself, you will transform the world around you. So, how do you start? Begin by ceasing to chase the woman you're interested in. Stop seeking favors and chasing after people. Demonstrate that you are an independent man capable of handling things on your own. Instead of chasing her, focus on improving yourself. Pursue your goals, develop your skills, and build a life that you are proud of. When you shift your focus inward, you become more attractive and desirable without even trying. Consider the Stoic philosopher Epictetus who said, no man is free who is not master of himself. This means that true freedom and independence come from within. By mastering yourself and your desires, you project confidence and strength, qualities that are naturally attractive. For example, if you usually text her constantly, take a step back. Allow her to reach out to you. Spend that time doing something productive for yourself like working out, reading, or pursuing a hobby. When you transform your mindset and behavior, you become a person of value. She will notice the change in you and will be more likely to desire your attention. Remember, you cannot control her actions or feelings, but you can control your own. As you grow and develop, the right people will be drawn to you naturally. This approach not only makes you more attractive, but also helps you build a life that is fulfilling and rewarding, regardless of who is or isn't in it. In essence, stop chasing her and start focusing on becoming the best version of yourself. This not only aligns with stoic principles, but also leads to genuine, lasting attraction and respect. Seneca, another great stoic philosopher, wisely said, it is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more that is poor. In the context of relationships, this craving manifests as the need for constant attention and validation. By letting go of this craving, you free yourself from the poverty of neediness. You become rich in self-assurance and inner peace. So, remember, by transforming yourself and focusing on your personal growth, you naturally become more attractive. The key to desirability lies in your ability to be content and confident in who you are, not in chasing someone else's approval. This shift in perspective not only aligns with the timeless wisdom of Stoicism, but also sets you on a path to a more fulfilling and balanced life. Number two. Stop the struggle. Why are you working so hard for her attention? 
Do you really think relentless effort will make her interested in you? If you believe that, you're living in a fantasy. Women enjoy attention and like to see you pursuing them, but they won't be attracted to someone who is constantly chasing them. They thrive on this kind of attention-seeking behavior. Just look at social media. Many models' Instagram pages are flooded with simps, men who lack the confidence to engage in meaningful activities. Instead, let's look at what Stoicism teaches us about this. The Stoics believed in focusing on what you can control and letting go of what you cannot. Marcus Aurelius, a prominent Stoic philosopher, said, Waste no more time arguing what a good man should be. Be one. This quote reminds us that instead of seeking validation from others, we should strive to improve ourselves and live virtuously. If you're interested in a woman, stop clinging to her and seeking her approval. Don't sacrifice your mental well-being just to place excessive value on her. Take a step back and focus on your own growth and interests. Show her that you are confident and self-sufficient. Engage in activities that enrich your life and contribute to your personal development. Imagine you're passionate about learning a new skill, like playing the guitar or starting a fitness routine. Dedicate your time and energy to these pursuits instead of constantly texting or calling her. When she sees you are content and thriving on your own, she will be more likely to desire your company. Your self-assuredness and independence will naturally attract her, as they are qualities that many women find appealing. Instead of bombarding her with messages or trying too hard to impress her, simply be yourself. Share your passions and listen to hers. But don't make her the center of your universe. Continue to pursue your interests and let her see you as a whole, independent person. By doing so, you communicate that you value yourself and your time. This is far more attractive than any overt display of affection or attention-seeking behavior. Women are drawn to men who have their own lives, ambitions, and goals. They respect men who do not bend over backward for attention, but instead stand firm in their own identity. In summary, embracing Stoic principles can transform the way you approach relationships. By focusing on your personal growth and maintaining your independence, you naturally become more attractive. Stop the struggle, value yourself, and let her come to you. This approach not only enhances your own life, but also fosters healthier, more balanced relationships. Number three, recognize your options. Now that you know how to interact with women effectively, it's crucial to shift your mindset if you want them to pursue you. The key is to transition from a scarcity mindset to an abundance mindset. Currently, you're trapped in a scarcity mindset, believing she's the only woman worth pursuing and that no one else could surpass her beauty. This mindset makes you chase after her, reducing your value and self-esteem. Embracing an abundance mindset means understanding that there are plenty of women out there. Remember, half of the world's population is female, and there are many other potential partners who might be a better match. So, stop fixating on her. There are better options available. How you react to a woman's interest or disinterest defines your worth. If you chase her, you are reacting out of fear and scarcity, which lowers your self-esteem. Instead, recognize that you have options and focus on being the best version of yourself. For instance, if a woman you're interested in starts pulling away, instead of chasing her and trying to win her back, take a step back and evaluate the situation calmly. Remind yourself that there are many other women who would value and appreciate you. By not chasing her, you maintain your dignity and self-respect, which can make you more attractive. Embracing an abundance mindset is about realizing that your happiness and self-worth are not dependent on the approval of one woman. Marcus Aurelius once said, 
The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. When you constantly think that one woman is your only chance at happiness, you are undermining your own potential and value. Moreover, an abundance mindset allows you to view relationships from a healthier perspective. You understand that rejection is not a reflection of your inadequacy, but rather a sign that there might be someone more compatible out there for you. Seneca wisely said, It is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more that is poor. Craving one woman's attention while ignoring the vast potential around you leaves you feeling needy and unfulfilled. So, when you stop chasing and start valuing yourself, you create a space where women can desire you. They will see your strength and independence, which are highly attractive qualities. By recognizing your options, you cultivate a mindset that not only aligns with stoic principles, but also enhances your overall confidence and self-worth. Shift your mindset from scarcity to abundance, recognize your worth, and let them come to you. Number four, offer indifferent compliments. To make women pursue you, stop showering them with eager praise. This aligns with the stoic principle of remaining indifferent to external events and reactions. How can you tell the difference between eager and indifferent compliments? It's all about body language. Your nonverbal cues reveal your true intentions. When you give a compliment, do so with an air of nonchalance. Demonstrate that her reaction doesn't matter to you. Most guys, when complimenting a woman, have overly expressive faces and appear almost desperate. They lean in too close, smile too broadly, and their eyes light up with expectation. The worst is when they expect something in return for their compliments, which comes off as insincere and manipulative. Instead, offer your praise subtly and make sure it's distinctive. Focus on complimenting her character rather than her appearance. For example, you might say, I admire how you handled that situation. It showed real strength. Make it a casual remark and then move on without lingering or waiting for a reaction. Another example could be, your dedication to your work is impressive. These kinds of compliments show that you notice and appreciate deeper qualities rather than just superficial attributes. Remember, the key is to remain calm and composed. Your goal is to express genuine appreciation without seeming overly eager. This approach not only aligns with stoic principles, but also makes you more appealing, as it shows you value her for who she is, not just how she looks. This kind of demeanor will make women more likely to pursue you, as they will see you as a man who is confident and self-reliant, qualities that are universally attractive. Moreover, by practicing this form of indifference, you also cultivate a stronger sense of self-respect and inner peace. You are not seeking validation or approval, but simply acknowledging qualities you find admirable. This balanced perspective not only enhances your interactions with women, but also enriches your overall approach to relationships and life. Keep in mind, indifferent compliments are a powerful tool. They align with the stoic mindset of being grounded and unaffected by external validation. By mastering this, you can make women desire you more as they see your confidence and self-assuredness, leading to deeper and more meaningful connections. If you've made it this far, and you're still with us, please take a moment to drop a comment below to share your thoughts or simply type, no more seeking validation, if you resonate with the content. Your feedback is invaluable and keeps us inspired for future videos. Now, let's continue. Number five, keep some things to yourself. Why rush to lay all your cards on the table? Don't you want her to discover your layers over time? 
This approach aligns perfectly with the principles of Stoicism, which emphasize self-control and patience. Many guys make the mistake of thinking that sharing every positive detail about themselves will make them more appealing. In reality, it often has the opposite effect. If you reveal all your traits within the first few encounters, you might mistakenly believe she's becoming interested. However, she may just see you as dull. Women enjoy the thrill of uncovering someone's true nature. If you disclose all your quirks too soon, she'll feel there's nothing left to intrigue her. The mystery and allure of your personality will vanish. By maintaining a sense of mystery and not rushing to share everything about yourself, you create an environment where she is more likely to desire you. This isn't about playing games, but about valuing your own worth and letting her discover it naturally. Think of a time when you met someone and they shared everything about themselves right away. How did it make you feel? Contrast that with someone who revealed their story slowly, leaving you curious and wanting to know more. This gradual unveiling makes interactions more exciting and meaningful. Additionally, consider the principle of amor fati, or love of fate, often discussed in Stoicism. Embrace the process of letting things unfold naturally. By not chasing her and instead allowing her to uncover your layers at her own pace, you show that you are comfortable with the natural progression of events. This confidence and ease are inherently attractive. Moreover, the Stoic philosopher Seneca advised, luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. By holding back some information about yourself, you prepare for the right opportunities to reveal more creating moments of genuine connection. This preparation allows you to present yourself authentically and thoughtfully, enhancing the depth of your relationship. In practice, this means being mindful of how much you share and when. Instead of discussing your entire life story on the first date, share a few intriguing aspects of your life, leaving room for curiosity let her ask questions and show interest in discovering more about you. This interactive process builds a stronger, more engaging connection. So, practice restraint. Share selectively. Allow her the pleasure of discovering who you are bit by bit. This approach will not only make you more intriguing, but also align with the stoic virtue of temperance which teaches us to control our desires and actions. By not chasing her and letting her uncover your layers, you'll create a deeper and more lasting connection. Number six, blend the traits. Men often find themselves torn between being funny or confident. Some believe that humor is the key to attracting women, while others think confidence is the answer. This creates extremes where confident men can become overly arrogant and funny men can come across as unserious. Both extremes can undermine their social dominance and respect. The key is to find a balance between these traits. Assess the situation and adjust accordingly. Be serious when needed and be humorous when appropriate. However, be careful not to misjudge the context. Being overly serious in a lighthearted moment can make you seem out of place. When considering this balance, remember the Stoic principle of moderation. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus once said, make the best use of what is in your power and take the rest as it happens. In social interactions, this means being aware of your strengths and using them wisely. Don't rely solely on humor or confidence. Instead, blend them seamlessly to create a well-rounded personality. Imagine you're on a date. Your date shares a funny story and you respond with laughter and a humorous comment of your own. This shows your playful side and creates a relaxed atmosphere. However, as the conversation progresses and shifts to more serious topics, 
such as future goals or personal values. You demonstrate your confidence by speaking thoughtfully and sincerely. By doing so, you show that you are not only fun to be around, but also capable of engaging in meaningful discussions. This balance not only makes you more attractive, but also shows that you are versatile and adaptable. Stoicism teaches us not to chase after things outside our control, including the affections of others. By focusing on improving yourself and maintaining a balanced demeanor, you naturally become more desirable. Women will be drawn to your ability to navigate different situations with ease and grace, rather than your desperate attempts to win their approval. This approach aligns with the Stoic belief that true happiness comes from within, not from external validation. Consider the Stoic practice of responding rather than reacting. If you react impulsively, trying too hard to be funny or overly confident, you risk coming off as insincere or desperate. Instead, respond thoughtfully to the context and the person you are with. This response shows that you are present and attentive, qualities that are highly attractive. By embodying these stoic principles in your interactions, you project a sense of inner stability and self-assuredness. Women, and people in general, are naturally drawn to those who exude this kind of balanced confidence. Remember, the goal is not to chase after affection or approval, but to be the best version of yourself. As you cultivate this balanced approach, you will find that others are naturally attracted to you, seeking the stability and confidence you radiate. Number seven, focus on self-improvement. Is your time being used wisely? Instead of obsessively tracking her on Instagram, why not dedicate that energy to meeting a pressing deadline or pursuing personal growth? Many men today get caught up in fixating on one woman, often without a clear reason other than physical attraction. This approach is counterproductive. It leads to wasted time and missed opportunities for self-development. The Stoics teach us that we should focus on what we can control, and our personal growth is firmly within our grasp. By investing your time in self-improvement, you are taking control of your own narrative and reactions, rather than letting your emotions be dictated by someone else's actions. Hit the gym, go for a run, or engage in activities that enhance your skills. Pick up a new hobby, learn a language, or read books that expand your mind. Imagine the benefits of becoming a better version of yourself, not just physically, but mentally and emotionally. When you focus on self-improvement, you naturally become more attractive, not only to the person you desire, but to everyone around you. Consider the example of Marcus Aurelius, who emphasized the importance of self-discipline and personal growth in his meditations. He wrote, Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. This timeless advice underscores the significance of taking action towards becoming the best version of yourself. Think about the hours you spend thinking about her, checking her social media, and wondering what she's doing. What if you redirected that time and energy into something productive? You could take up a fitness challenge, advance in your career, or develop a new skill. These activities not only improve you, but also keep you occupied, leaving little room for unnecessary worries. Moreover, personal development can lead to unexpected opportunities. When you are busy improving yourself, you might meet new people, discover new passions, and open doors you never knew existed. This broader perspective on life helps you see that there's much more to live for than just one person's attention. Avoid spending idle hours obsessing over her, as this won't benefit you in the long run. Instead, channel that energy into activities that build your character and skills. When you improve yourself, you become more confident and self-assured, 
This not only makes you more attractive, but also shifts your focus away from chasing her and towards becoming someone she would want to chase. In conclusion, let go of the obsessive thoughts and the need to constantly monitor her actions. Embrace the stoic wisdom of focusing on what you can control, your own growth and development. By doing so, you will not only become a better person, but also naturally attract others, including the one you desire, without the need to chase them. Number eight, place her in the friend zone. Have you ever considered friend zoning her? Chances are this thought hasn't even crossed your mind. Imagine the role reversal. You, the one doing the friend zoning. It might actually feel quite empowering. However, fear of losing her often holds you back. Here's an intriguing fact. The human mind craves what it can't have. By making yourself less available as a partner, you'll spark her desire even more. It's like when you're told you can't have a certain treat and it suddenly becomes the one you want the most. Similarly, by friend zoning her, you make yourself more desirable in her eyes. By friend zoning her, you are essentially taking control of the situation and your emotions. Instead of desperately trying to win her over, you are showing confidence and self-respect. This aligns with the stoic belief in self-mastery and inner strength. Take Marcus Aurelius's wisdom to heart. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. When you place her in the friend zone, you demonstrate that you are not controlled by your desires or her actions. You are in control of your own happiness and well-being. Let's delve deeper into how this principle can be applied. Imagine the ancient Stoic philosophers facing challenges. They didn't chase after fleeting desires or external validations. Instead, they focused on cultivating inner strength and wisdom. By friend zoning her, you're not reacting to your immediate desires or fears of losing her. Instead, you're choosing a path of self-control and rationality. Another relevant Stoic principle is ataraxia, which refers to a state of serene calmness. By not chasing her, you achieve a sense of inner peace. You are no longer tormented by the anxiety of whether she will reciprocate your feelings. Instead, you enjoy the friendship and let things unfold naturally. This calm and composed demeanor will make you even more appealing to her. Think about the long-term benefits of this approach. By friend zoning her, you preserve your dignity and self-respect. You avoid the pitfalls of desperation and neediness, which can be off-putting. You also give yourself the opportunity to evaluate whether she is truly the right person for you without the cloud of infatuation. So take a step back, place her in the friend zone and focus on becoming the best version of yourself. By doing so, you not only uphold stoic principles, but also create an air of mystery and confidence that she will find irresistible. Number nine. Find joy independently. One of the most appealing qualities in a man is his ability to find happiness on his own. Women are attracted to men who don't rely on them for their sense of joy and fulfillment. This independent joy is a powerful magnet, demonstrating confidence and self-sufficiency. So, how do you cultivate this joy independently? First, Invest time in nurturing your friendships. Plan outings and engaging activities with your friends. Whether it's a weekend road trip, a night out in the city, or a simple get together for a game night, these moments build your sense of joy. Share your experiences on social media to showcase how much fun you're having. Demonstrate that you're not concerned with others' opinions and are focused on enjoying life. This transparency shows your audience and potential romantic interests that your happiness isn't tied to any single person. 
Next, explore new and exciting places. Traveling, whether it's to a new city or a natural wonder, broadens your horizons and provides fresh experiences. Document your travels with friends, posting captivating photos and stories that reflect your adventures. This not only enriches your life, but also sends a clear message. You are capable of creating your own joy. By showing that you can find happiness and fulfillment on your own, you naturally become more attractive because you display confidence and self-sufficiency, qualities that women find desirable. By finding joy independently, you embody this stoic principle and show that your happiness is not contingent on anyone else. This approach aligns perfectly with stoic wisdom, emphasizing the importance of inner contentment and self-reliance. As Epictetus, another prominent Stoic philosopher, stated, Seek not the good in external things. Seek it in yourselves. By embodying this principle, you show that your happiness is self-generated and resilient. So, embrace your independence, find joy in your pursuits, and let your happiness shine from within. This independent joy not only enhances your life, but also makes you more attractive to others. By not chasing after someone for your happiness, you create a magnetic appeal, inviting them to desire you instead. As we conclude this insightful journey into the stoic approach to attraction, let's take a moment to reflect on the key lesson, less chasing, more attracting. Through today's exploration, we've discovered how embracing stoicism, focusing on self-respect dignity and personal growth shifts the dynamics of attraction. This philosophy teaches us that by cultivating your inner value and focusing on becoming a high value individual, you naturally draw the right kind of attention and respect. Remember, the allure does not come from relentless pursuit, but from being a grounded, self-assured individual. Your independence and strength are what truly make you attractive. By ceasing to chase and instead investing in your personal development, you create a life that others are naturally drawn to. A life where you are not just seen, but sought after. So as you move forward, challenge yourself to apply these transformative stoic principles. Notice how these changes not only improve your relationships, but also enhance your overall life satisfaction. When you shift from chasing to becoming, you not only attract others, but also cultivate a deeper respect for yourself. Now, I invite you to take action. Start by implementing these teachings in your daily interactions. Observe how this shift in mindset changes the way others perceive and respond to you. It's about setting a new standard for yourself and watching the world rise to meet it. If you found value in today's video, please hit that like button let us know your commitment to never chasing by commenting never chase below don't forget to check out the recommended videos on your screen for more insights subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any future content thank you for watching and remember focus on being the best version of yourself and let everything else follow